spondylitis. It literally fuses your spine, makes you like this. People, whenever they get this, whenever they're very, very young, it they don't make it. It doesn't have a good success rate. Um, so he went year after year, surgery after surgery, and I was his caregiver at a very young age. While I was waiting tables at IHOP, I was an elementary school teacher. Um, and then his mother, uh, my mother-in-law, she was diagnosed with something that's called a glioblastoma. This is the worst brain tumor that anybody can ever have. It affected her occipital lobe, um, which affects your speech and your vision. It affected her, um, the, the back lobe, front, frontal lobe and occipital lobe, I'm sorry. So literally all kinds of things were getting affected to where she could not function the same person that she was. So I was taking her to chemotherapy and taking her to doctor after doctor and radiation and everything, and nothing was getting better with her. She was told that she had four months to live. And amidst all of this, my husband, we were um, married for 13 years. The only man that I had was ever with because of all these struggles and no doctors were ever able to help him. All of those surgeries, 10 hip surgeries, y'all, nothing helped him. So he got severely depressed. So when I tell you depression is a real thing. It is horrible, horrible. It's not talked about enough and it ruins people's lives and families and to the point where people can't get out of bed. And this was him. And I was taking care of him amidst all this depression. And because of this depression in January of 2020, he decided to take his own life. And I was with him at the time. And it was very, very hard to see the man that I was with for 13 years to take his own life caused me to be severely depressed to where I was on all kinds of anxiety and depression medication. I was literally a robot. Um, and then a couple months later, my mother-in-law that I was taking care of while I was still teaching, while I was still waiting tables, after my husband just passed, she passed away from a brain tumor. So here I am 17 hours away from my entire family in Kentucky, and I was all alone, totally depressed. And then my very best friend now, Mary Kenny, offered me this amazing opportunity. It has completely changed my life. I've went through struggles, ups and downs. And the best part about New Skin for me is even though I went through all those hard times and journeys, um, it I feel truly empowered. I feel like I can do anything and conquer the world. And no matter all of that bad things that happened to me, I'm here today and I'm standing on my own two feet and I didn't go back to Kentucky. I stayed in Florida because I loved it. And I am, you know, I'm building a team and I'm showing them that they can do things. And it truly doesn't matter what you've been through. Like you can make your own choices and you can live this life, you know? Um, and amidst all of this, side note, I actually did meet my chapter two and his name is Jesse and he's in the audience right now. <laughs> And we are on this journey together and he is now working this business with me full time and we are giving this gift to others and empowering others and this, this is my passion and I have a burning passion deep down inside y'all to give this gift, this free gift and opportunity to others and it doesn't matter where you have come from, nobody's going to save you, okay, nobody's coming to save you, you have to save yourself and you have to, you know, do it, do it all, it's up to you, so that's all. Amazing. Wow. What an amazing story. There is no excuse. Wow. Uh, well, the next uh, the next panelist that we have um, up is uh, Jane Lee. She is a five year team elite circle of excellence one member. She used to be a, in a risk management and in, inter, internal auditor for the government. Uh, she has a two year old and uh, she wants to spend a lot of time with him. So uh, I have a question for you. Um, your question would be on the journey to success as we as entrepreneurs uh, often have to face a lot of obstacles and I'm sure it's the same in every businesses, right? And so do you remember the time that you had to face such obstacle and, um, and did you ever have the thought of quitting New Skin now? Thank you. Hello, New Skin family. You guys are awesome. 
So when I look back to my new skin journey, the biggest challenge happened to me was uh, um, 10 months out I joined the business. And within the first 10 months with the beginner passion, I was able to build a team with a 28 brand representative. So, and then um, within like due to the change of the market uh, circumstance within two weeks, I lost majority of my team. So my team basically downsized from 28 to one and a half. I was a one. The other half, I call it half, is because she was a, about to quit at any time. So you can imagine it was a huge setback to me because back in that time, I was very new to this business. And don't get me wrong, I still love the product. I have a strong confidence in the company, but I don't have confidence in myself. I kept asking myself all kinds of questions. What if the same thing happened? Do I have the confidence to go continue this business? And how do I face the failure and frustration again? Does new skin still a good fit for me? And I have a government, good government job, a nice pension. I can easily say, okay, I choose the easy way out, go back to my comfortable life. So why don't I just quit? So like there were so many questions that went through my mind. Finally, it boiled down to one essential question. What, what was the why um, only my new skin? So um, out of months of uh, uh, so searching, I realized that new skin is the only business the opportunity to provide uh, to people, ordinary people like me, to uh, work hard and also through personal development to get to a life uh, lifestyle that me and my family desire. And then that's the only opportunity can help me to spend as much time as possible with my son while he need me the most. Also through the amazing success trip, I was able to take my family to explore the world. My son is now 11 years old. One day I pick him up from school. He uh, told me that mom, we have a sharing at school. And then I realized I'm the only kid in the school that I have been to 20 something countries. I feel I'm very privileged. And you are the one person I want to thank for. You're the best mommy ever. So at the moment, all the struggle, all the frustration was so worthy. And most importantly, I realized new skin is the opportunity help me to empower so many people out there to work hard through their personal development to have an option for themselves and their family. So that was the why um, my only new skin. It kind of become the anchor for me to help me to uh, weather through all the storms in my new skin journey. So I was able to go back to my feet and then uh, start our work again. I came to the company event, plug myself into the OTG system, and I start all over again. And then one and a half years later, I hit Blue Diamond, and I stay on um, King Elite uh, from there. And then now I'm a five years King Elite, and then I'm the member of a Circle of Excellence. Um, so um, I'd like to close my sharing just with one of my favorite quotes. The only certain way to succeed is always try to do just one more time. You will be there. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jane. So you guys hear that from, from half a member to now circle of excellence team elite. So if Jane can do it, we can do it too, right? All right. Our next speaker is Lorraine Schwenke. She is a diamond director and lives out in Paris, California, originally from Samoa. And Lorraine has been in the HR industry for over 20 years in HR technology and management. So that's a pretty high level position that you've been working in. So tell me how someone coming from a professional background like yourself, how did you deal with the blows to your ego if someone rejected you or said no to the business? Let's, let's hear a little bit about that. All right. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you, Jen. Um, yes, I did come from the corporate world and I don't know if I came in with an ego, um, but I know that I was hit hard when I got the nose. 
um, first of all, when I went back and try to recruit, as um, Jen mentioned, I've been in HR technology for over so many years. I was a project manager for a global company and I traveled around a lot training um, HR users. So um, when I went back and I tried to recruit my former colleagues, they all started laughing at me. Um, they looked at me because they always call me high maintenance, um, queen of high maintenance. And they're like, whoa, you were supposed to retire. Um, when I turned 60, they were all saying, um, Lorraine, aren't you <laughs> going to retire soon? Um, and I said, oh, you know, just very soon. But I had no idea that this was going to come into my life. Um, so, you know, um, I know that coming into this, uh, my mindset had to change a lot. Um, we do things differently in corporate world. Um, you know, as a project manager, I was very anal about processes. Um, everything has to be process driven. Um, you know, I was known as a slave driver. I, uh, I remember when I was in Singapore and I trained the team there, um, I did not let them out on breaks. And they said, whoa, lady, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna sleep in here if you don't let us out for breaks. So coming over to New Skin, it was a huge change. It was a huge shift. And going back to my former colleagues and they're all looking at me thinking, you're not going to, that's not you. Um, but people that know me very well, that I'm a very quiet, quiet competitor, like I am somewhat like a swan that looks very composed, looks like I've got it all together on the surface, but underneath all that, I am like swimming like heck. I am just thinking, oh boy, I am so scared. I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, I, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. So I, when I came to New Skin, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But one thing I knew for sure is that when I came in, because I came in for products, um, I did not come in to do a business. Um, but after a while, um, I, I went to my family reunion in Samoa. And this is about a month after I signed up. And I was just, uh, you know, jolly as can be. I, my cousins thought that I was on speed. Um, I was just like running around. I've always been an active person, but now I've like accelerated. I was the last person to bed. I roomed with my, my sister and my cousin. And I would, you know, crawl to bed about 3 a.m. and wake up at 6 a.m. for Zumba. So, you know, things like that, like that really transformed. And then the next thing was the mindset and the system seven here at New Skin. Um, I knew that I had to check my attitude at the door and not think back to how things were done, that I'm not here to manage people. I'm not here to boss anybody around and that I am here to serve, to serve with love and to serve from the heart. And um, now looking back, I feel like my whole life has been prepared. Things have come to full circle. Everything that I went through as a child, through boarding school, through college, through my failed marriages, I happened to sacrifice a marriage because of my career. Um, and as a single parent of 15 years, I learned to work really hard. I learned what real struggle was. So coming to New Skin and Jeff Mack would always say, you know, if you're not having fun, you're not doing the business right. And, and I totally believe in that. I don't care how hard it is to, you know, to recruit or build, um, you know, just changing over to this system, how hard that is. It's, it's still, I'm having fun because I know what it's like to struggle. And I know what it's like to be in the corporate world. Like, you know, if you don't conform, you get, you know, talked to or, you know, and you, you then exit out the door with HR escorting you. Uh, but here, it's all up to you. It really is up to you. And that's what I had to do. I had to make a commitment and really believe in myself and really get over myself and get over my fears. And, um, and remember what one mentor said to me, you know, you have to have a little bit of dumbness to really survive in, you know, in the hard world. So coming into New Skin, I was dumb. I was very dumb. I, I didn't have a little bit of dumbness. I was very dumb, but uh, thank goodness I had an awesome upline. You know, my Blue Diamond Lalo Moore's um, Leata and Terry, I 
you know, without them, I would not have succeeded. I know that I'm here to stay, but, you know, without them, I wouldn't be as, you know, as far as I've come here. So, awesome. you know, awesome. I hope that is, you know, help somebody, but yeah, Thanks that's so fun. much, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you for your story. I came from a corporate background, so I can totally relate. relate. So our next panelist um, is um, a team elite platinum circle of excellent one. She came from uh, Venezuela, but now she lives in uh, Miami, former marketing consultant, also woman entrepreneur of the year 2013. Woo. Uh, I have a question for you. Okay, so your success is not just in the United States as we as we we work through you know the panel, uh, but you also have you you great I you know great success overseas as well, and so I have been building my my business overseas, and I know there's a lot of challenges that comes up, you know, uh, and you know there's a lot of regulations and you know with the country and everything. So can you share with us uh, your journey? Uh, your success with Nuskin. Thank you. Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo están los Latinos? ¿Cómo están todos? How are you, everybody? Well, uh, it's been almost 15 years in Nuskin now. It's incredible. And uh, when you ask me that, uh, it reminds me a period of two years in my career that went really upside down. And uh, in that moment already we have teams internationally and um, but we have a, we have three success three things happening in a rapid success that just tried me the first one was i was on a trip and it was literally hit by a bus okay the bus hit my lower leg and break 17 pieces you know breaking 17 places and it took me about five surgeries, setback, over setback, and over setback. You know, every surgery, wheelchair, then crashes, then cane, and start walking, next surgery to repair the leg, okay? And at the same time, Argentina. We were building our team, consolidating, because there were incredible leaders down there, but the government, that day decided to stop importation of products affecting so many international companies in Argentina and of course Nuskin. Can you believe thousands of distributors were ready to go and Nuskin not being allowed to cross the border to just uh, get the products through the customs, having the chips in the port, that was a great impact too. And at the same time, just like one year later, my country, Venezuela, it has been, you know, an incredible journey of, of my country, Venezuela, you know, the crash economically, politically. And uh, one day they decided not to allow the international companies doing business there to repatriate the capitals they have put for so many years. So after eight years investing in my country and helping so many souls, so many families, Nuskin had to take the terrible decisions because they didn't want to close the market. And that 16th of September of 2016, half of my team just shut down. The, the business and their lives, you know, depend most of them of the, their new skin business. So the three success happening very close in two years. What we learn, not only myself, my husband, me, my kids, and the team. First of all, at the worst of your time, just focus on personal development. That two years, I grew personally, internally, spiritually, more than ever in my life. I was praying for that. I was praying for having time to grow, to just sit, to meditate, to be more time with my kids. And I 
finally was there two years in that sofa. The second dream big, you know, the vision that you can have oh, is always farther, it's bigger, and it's more embracing, you know, than any obstacle. Dream big, dream bigger than your obstacles. And the third thing, you know, embrace change because things are not happening to you. Those three events didn't happen for me, to me. They happened for me and for others. Where I am now, my leg is perfect. I'm even dancing again, which is my passion and is my hobby too. Okay. Where are my team? Our team, the Argentinians are one of the largest organizations, not only in Latin America, but Spanish speakers in the world. Because I focus on those who wanted to continue, to persevere, to be resilient, to have a dream and to continue working. So dream big. Embrace change and keep dancing. Okay. Awesome. Wow. All right. Let's see if all amazing ladies, stories, right? I'll give these four of these ladies a big round of applause, New Skin. Yes. Okay. Well, thank so, you so much, ladies. Thank you. Come on, New Skin. Did we not just hear some incredible stories? <laughs> All right, so what we learned from this panel is that, uh, you know, hardship will come at you in many different directions, whether it be in your personal life or in your professional life. But in order to achieve success, we've got to power through those difficulties. And even if you don't do new skin, I guarantee you will have hardships. So if you are powering through hardships outside of new skin, you may not achieve the life of your dreams, but here, when you power through the hardships, you really can achieve your best life. Well, next up, we're gonna have a little video for you guys. Uh, we would like to invite everybody to stand up so that we can uh, do a little exercise, a little dance, a little twist. 